Here's a great question that all of us can relate to. Hey, besides telling me you're frustrated with wind as I am, really, are there any advantages to fishing in the wind or is there, should you just stay at home? <laughs> That's really a good question because, man, wind, I could fish in rain, I can fish in cold, I could fish in heat, but man, when it is windy out, that is, that wears you out sometimes for a lot of reasons. It's hard to control the boat, it's hard to cast, it's hard to control your presentation. Really, other than having extreme windy conditions where it's not safe out, the wind, there is adage to a, a, a saying, the wind is a fisherman's friend. It actually can be a good thing for several reasons. And I'm just gonna hit a few of them. One of them is that the wind can, it, it, it breaks up the light penetration. And when that happens, bass tend to roam more freely, they tend to be more aggressive, and it conceals and kind of camouflages your lure a little bit more. So for example, if you're fishing a spinnerbait, it makes it look a little more lively, more realistic, and the bass are more apt to hit it. So that's number one. And another reason is the, the water can be oxygenated more with wind. Especially if you're fishing, say, in the summertime, when the water temperatures are really high and the water has less of capability of holding dissolved oxygen, you get a lot of wind and it'll churn up that surface and it'll get some oxygen going and that will get the whole food chain going. The bass will move up shallower and they'll feed on those bait fish that are moving up shallow, feeding upon all the plankton and all the algae that's been worked free from the waves and the wind. Wind also, if it's been blowing a consistent direction for quite a while, at least several hours, it can produce some amount of current, not a ton, but a little bit of current is better than none. And bass will set up on those break points. If you've got, say for example, bridge pilings, or you've got a point and the wind's going across the point, or those choke points where there's narrow areas that the water can get through where the wind's blowing right down through it, bass will set up on those areas and will ambush whatever lure you bring by. Also, wind can turn, can turn on areas where typically they're not productive. I have a spot on a lake that I fish that's a stretch of riprap. The water's really clear and typically when you go through there with crankbaits, jigs, or drop shots, what have you, you pick up a couple of fish here and there, but it's not all that productive. However, I've learned when the wind picks up and it's anything over say 12, 13 miles an hour, the stronger the better and it's blowing right up against that riprap, man, I, I run to that spot because I've had days where I'm catching literally every cast, every single cast I'm, I'm with crankbaits. It's, it's a bonanza. I'll catch 25, 30 fish in a matter of 45 minutes. So wind can really turn on an area that way. Wind also can create mud lines. If it's hitting the shoreline, you've probably noticed this with a lot of wind in, in areas that have this loose topsoil, you'll find this mud that comes out five, six feet, maybe long, maybe more off the shoreline. Well, the fish will use that mud line just like they would a weed line. They'll conceal themselves right inside that muddy water and then they'll jump out and hit any bait fish that happen by. So if you fish that mud line, you can get really productive results. So wind can be really productive. It can really help you fish areas that otherwise are not productive or it can turn a non-productive day into a fishing bonanza. Just be safe out there. If you don't feel comfortable out there, you feel like you're, you're in danger, get off that water. You don't have to. Fishing is supposed to be fun, guys. So don't risk your life just to catch a few fish. And if you have any questions that you've thought about while watching this, hey, feel free to hit me up at this email down below or come to our Facebook page, leave us a message, and hopefully we'll get to your question soon. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com.